Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. It's day 32, how are you? I hope you are all well. I cannot believe we're up to day 32. I think I said in yesterday's video, when I said goodbye, that was day 31. I don't remember, but it's day 32. These days are all muddled together. They're starting to get muddled together. Let's get right into this, shall we? Let's read our garden dragon. Our garden dragon, our, our word of the day. Oops. Okay. Yesterday we had gratitude, honeydew dragon, right? Did, yes, we did. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where the days go. Okay. Let's pick today. Oh, broccoli dragon. Place. Oh, how cute. He looks like broccoli too. <laughs> His head looks like broccoli. Okay, broccoli. B broccoli. Here we go. So, the broccoli dragon says, and I just want to make sure that, okay. Broccoli dragon says that uh, the broccoli dragon reminds you to find your best place. We're not always fortunate enough to live where we truly thrive. It's time to determine where your ideal spot in the world is. This is a physical place rather than a metaphysical place. If you cannot pick up roots to move, get serious about clearing your home of unnecessary clutter. Set your mind to creating your own secret space. Oh, my mind has been manifesting my new studio for a very long time. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Broccoli dragon. Okay, so let me wish my beautiful blessings. And we're going to start. Oops, see, I'm knocking stuff over. I'm going to start our timer and I'm going to go into my messages and just wish my beautiful blessings. Um, let me go back a little bit. Uh, beautiful blessings to Sherry Vanderpool. Um, beautiful blessings to Woodland Inspired. And beautiful blessings to Sandra Segrera. Beautiful blessings to you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and also commenting. Okay, today we're going to do something with using our, um, what did I call them? Oh my God, our hinges. <laughs> okay, so I have these in my shop. Well, this is double-sided. I guess I was practicing. <laughs> I have these in my shop. Um, they are letters, like this, old letters. Let me show you. So when they print out, they look like this. And when you fold them in half, directly in half, you get the back and the front of the letters. So I'm just going to um, tear this out. You could also cut it with your cutter. I'm gonna tear it out and be uh, a rebel. <laughs> now, this side is all torn. You can use the tear ruler to tear over here like that, um, the way it's torn. And then also just tear little pieces off because it is showing how the letter um, was torn open by the owner, the owner of it. Of course, this is a, a vintage letter. All right, so we've done that now. Let's do the next one. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. I like to save the pieces from tearing out and I'll show you why I do save them in just a moment. Let's do this one. Oh, somebody asked me about my ruler. Um, I can't recall who it was, I apologize. I get asked about it a lot, a lot. And um, my ruler is vintage. Very, very vintage. Um, it used to be my child's ruler in my studio. It's over 20 years old. And they told me to turn it over because of the cork is um, stops the paper from moving or whatnot. And there's a lip on each side. I don't know if this is made the same way it is today. It's also most of the cork is missing and these edges are very very sharp so 
I use my ruler on the metal side. It's just easier for me. And I don't have to, you know, I, I don't have any problems with cutting it using the metal side. I don't really need the cork side of it at all. So that is the reason I do that. I'm assuming if I bought a new ruler, a brand new ruler, that the cork would be much better condition and probably go all the way to the edge and therefore I could probably do it that way. But I am set in the way that I use it and that's that. But thank you for letting me know. I'm I'm not I'm doing it the way um I want to. <laughs> it cuts good that way for me. It's very sharp. So I don't have any problems. Okay. So we have the next one now. And let's go to this one. Um, this one's the same. I think I have a few different ones here. This one I've already done. And we have this one. We'll do two of these, I guess. Um, let me cut this one out. Now, some of these are on newspaper print and some are on regular copy paper print. Um, I like the feeling of the newspaper print. However, um, I would suggest that if you're going to do what we're doing today uh, or fill them up to do them on um, regular copy paper, it's a little bit sturdier. The newspaper print is just a little bit flimsier, if you catch my drift. Okay, so I just cut up those edges. Now, if you have any... Um, of the paper showing, of course, you can always take your ink and just ink up where you've ripped it and it will take care of all that show that's showing. That's all. All right, I'm gonna do this last one and move forward. And this one has big chunky rips in it. So, I'll just go up the top here and haphazardly <laughs> rip it <laughs> like this and then come back up this way and rip it. Okay, I'll see what I want to do there as far as ripping it the rest of the way um, because you got to rip them both together, too. You take both sides and rip them both together. And you just hold them in your hand. You pinch where you don't want it to rip. You pinch. And where you want it to rip, you're using your, your other hand to rip it. And it kind of looks just like when you open it. When you open your mail. Okay. So now we're going to use our hinges that we learned how to make. The hinges. We're just going to um, fold, fold it in half, just like you do. And you don't, you can use scrap paper in here. And you're going to get one for one side and one for the other. You can use um, scrap paper. You don't have to use, you know, good paper. You're not going to see it. So one will go on one side and then we'll do one on the other and that's why I meant about saving the pieces that you rip off the sides of the letter because you can use them on the inside. Okay, and it's really simple. You just remember, I'm gonna need to clean my desk really, really soon. <laughs> you just glue up the, out, the uh, side of the hinge that's gonna stick to the envelope. I definitely need to clean my desk. <laughs> Don't go all the way down, but go down far enough. And then we'll do the other one too. Oh, my desk is a mess. Okay. Whoops. this one on this side and get it 
fairly, fairly close to the edge, lining it up. I hope I'm in camera. Okay. And then I'm going to fold them in and just, if I don't pick up any stuff along my way. <laughs> Hold on. My hands are full of glue. I'm in a mess here. Okay, so I'm going to put this up like that. And then I'll go ahead and catch this side up over here like that. And then I'll, no, we want it to stay at the fold. Oh, that's why it's a little crooked. Oh my goodness. This is tedious. So just take your time. There's no rush. Nobody's timing you. <laughs> Make sure it's on the edge and it's even. Otherwise it won't fold up properly. Okay, there we go. Okay, Whew. good, we did it. And now we have a closure, but the envelope closes, but it also opens like that. See that, isn't that adorable? So cute. All right, let's do one more. We'll do this one. Okay. I'm sticking to things. Maybe I should unglue my fingers. Okay, so this I printed double-sided, so don't don't mind the don't mind it. Okay, so now this one folds this way. The bottom and the side and the top. It's just like that, but it's turned. That's all. So you kind of have to get your fold down here at the bottom. Like so. And I would put the fold at the bottom first. And yes, like glue it in. Put it in there first. And then, let me just get it right. So I'm going to do, I'll do, maybe that's another thing too. If you want, you don't have to do both sides. You can do one side first. Duh. <laughs> Think, use your brain, Donna. You can do one side first if you want to. And then you just take a piece of paper and I'll show you. But I always do things, you know, I go right, I go ham, I go hard. <laughs> um, okay, so now this side is not glued yet. And then we'll get our other piece to go up alongside here. Like that. Now, let me just cut this. It's a little jaggedy. I want it straighter. Okay, so now this piece is going to glue on top of the bottom of the other piece, like that, right? Just like that. So glue to one side, and then I'll show you how to make sure I'm gluing the right side first. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I could just turn it upside down. Huh. Either way. Don't be wasting glue. You're way too expensive to be wasting. Okay. And then I'm going to put this right here along this edge. There. Like that. Alright, so now I have the two, the two hinges. And now, to glue up those pieces, I'm just going to, I'll just stick a piece of paper in there. That's all. I'll stick a piece of paper in here and put the glue down like this and then put the glue down like this and then I'll go ahead and fold it. Oh my goodness, my cough has been so good. What is it doing? Don't start acting up. Oh, I have a drink. Okay, good. So now you see, we have, ta-da, an envelope. So cute, right? Okay, let me see what mess I have here. I do, I have a mess. You know this, right? You could see it. I do, I have a, such a mess. Okay, so 
So now with that, so this is just an idea, you guys. It's just, it's just an idea. So take some envelopes. Take envelopes. And if you want, I'll link these below. They're in my shop. This is what it looks like on um, white paper. And this is what it looks like on newspaper print paper. They're the, they're the same um, envelope. The same one. It just prints out different color. And now, yes, you guessed it. We're going to decorate them. Because it's just, oh, it's just so cute. I just can't. Everything's just so cute. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, my gosh. I think I want him right there. Yes. You see? See how cute the bunnies make things? The bunnies just make things so cute. Let's see what else I have here. Mm. How adorable. Let's see what else. The chick. <gasps> How cute. I don't know. I think I like this one. I don't know what I like. I like them. I like everything. And I like him there. <gasps> oh, wait. What about this little chick? Oh, my goodness. I think we're going to go with that. How cute. I think I'm going to put it right there. Maybe right there. I don't know where. But it's so dang cute. Well, let's just put it down. Because it's just the cutest thing. Oh, now I'm going to pick a bunny. Oh, I like the bunny. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. decisions they're the worst they are you have to make them and honestly sometimes i don't even know how i do it <laughs> i just want to do every oh my goodness how cute i just want to put everything on there <laughs> all of it like all at once do i want the bunny or the chick hmm what do I have next to me? Um, I'm trying to look for some <gasps> fabric. <laughs> That's always cute too. Oh, well, maybe we'll do this, and I'll I'll do some little fabric, some little fabric like type things. Okay, let's get this on because our clock is ticking. You know. Okay, we're gonna go with this little chicky chicky and put it on the envelope and then we'll have to make some things to put in the envelope then right yes we will okay i'm just sticking this right here it's so cute i just can't how cute Oh my goodness. We need to ink up this top here. There we go. And then what happened here? I think I had a piece of paper in there. Extra. Extra, extra. I think it's okay. It's just sticking out a tiny bit. I'm just gonna clip it. There we go. Okay, so that's that's for that right now. Let's do this little guy on there. How cute. So cute. So how is everyone today? I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a good week. I don't even know what today is in my week, in my lineup. I don't know. I'm, I have an art show coming up. I'll check. I'm going to check it after. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. I can't even take it. How darling. Okay. Now I know that I wanted to do like a little, 
a little like a little fabric -y thingy. I don't know what. Let's just try some. So this is Darling. It has the flower. So cute. I don't know. Do I want to like put it over and then fill it with the inside? Let me see. Hmm. Or maybe I'll just I'll just um, attach it like that and dangle it. You can. Do I want it the size or maybe a little bit shorter? I want it. I want it a little shorter than the envelope. Not not the same length as the envelope. Oh my gosh! Look how cute. I can't even take it. Okay. And what else do I have? Oh, we have those. I have some. That's old. That's an old piece. I have some roses. I like that. What about some gold? Oh, ooh. Very, very um mixed, but still. Oh, I, I think I like it. Okay, let me see. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. Okay. <sighs> I'm getting anxious. We don't have enough time together. <laughs> well, we do. We do. I'm, I'm lying. We do. We have plenty of time. It's just that it goes by so fast. Okay. I think I'm going to take this off here because I don't I don't want it to I want it to just I don't want it to take up the whole envelope I'll use that somewhere else and I'm liking this oh my goodness look how cute but now we need something just something else I have a little tiny piece of yellow lace maybe it's shiny Tiny. Oh, how darling. Oh, perfect. Okay, look. Look at the little. Oh my goodness. How adorable. Okay, I'm gonna I'll trim it up even. Oh my goodness, look how cute. I can't even take it. I can't take the cuteness, you guys. I just can't. <sighs> oh wait, there's this too. I have this little piece of trim. Oh, I like that too. I wonder. All right, maybe we'll just, we'll save this. I don't know what I'm doing with that, but I like this. So here, now, how you say, how Donna, how? I don't know, I didn't think of that part, okay. <laughs> um, should we put it on a little piece of paper and attach it like with a stapler should we do that or or <laughs> or it, um, guess what you guys I didn't think that I didn't think that through. Hold on. I didn't, I did not. How about if we, maybe, maybe that might look good. Okay, wait, I like that there for sure. Let me see. Let me see what else I have. I don't know. Oh, one of, one of Rachel's doilies. Huh? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Too bad I didn't have them smaller. I think I have them smaller, but you know what? Time is of the issue right now. And I want to at least get two done. Two. Let's see. 
Okay. I wonder if we put the lace on the outside. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, guys. I'm thinking. I don't know. Bear with me. <laughs> oh. Can we do this? What if I just... Hmm. Where's the ruler? Hmm. What if I cut the doily? Like, just made it long. Like that. And... Like that. And then... I put it on here. Like this. And put the lace on top. Oh, yeah. I like that. Except for this has to go on the inside. Now, this is a jaggedy, a jaggedy envelope. So, and remember, it is on newspaper print. So, it is not too sturdy. However, it's sturdy enough. And I'm going to put, what if I put this underneath? Like that. How would that? Oh, I like that. Then this way we can see the the yellow flowers from the doily. Where's my stapler? I think I like it. I'm going with it. I am going with it. Um, I'm, I'm not stapling the whole thing together. Just the front part. How cute. Okay, now we have to fill this, of course. And I'm not liking this. I'm just going to cut it. The piece of the envelope was sticking out. Look how cute. We have to fill it, but how adorable if this was in the <gasps> so cute. Okay. We don't have very much time. I need to I need to pick this one out. Now I did want to use um I do have some like clips from like um Tim Holtz. These like diaper looking clips. That's what they are. Like diaper. <laughs> like a diaper. Um, I don't know if I have green. Ooh, that might be good for a tag topper to come out of there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to keep it with that. What do I do with the pin? Okay. Um, oh, this had green on it. What if we did something similar? Mm, no, it's gonna cover the duck. No. Mm hmm. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, may maybe. Hold on. Maybe just a tiny bit. Like a little sliver. A sliver. How cute. Okay. Open up. Open says me. Um, even maybe just a sliver more, only because I don't want it to cover the little ducky. How cute! Um, no, 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 mm -hmm. no, we need something. Let me see. I always have something, maybe. <laughs> you never know. You, you never know what I have over here. I'm looking, I'm checking. Oh, wait a minute. We have this green twall, remember? <gasps> Let's use a little tiny piece of green twall with this behind it. Perfection. My sister would kill me if she knew I was cutting into the twall like this, but she gave it to me, so ha ha ha. I'm using it the way I want. Love it. 
I don't really like that he's covering the eye. Let me see if I could just make it a tiny bit thinner. Yes. And I like that. Okay, so I'm going to um, safety pin these on here like this. And then I've had experience with this before and it kind of ripped the envelope. So let me just see if I could do it really carefully. I don't want it to, you know what? I may just staple these together like that. There we go. And I will, I'm gonna put this through both of the pieces of envelope and then just so it will stay. And then when we go to fill it, we'll figure it out. Maybe we won't fill it so much. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look how cute, you guys. So so you could take these envelopes. They're in my shop. I'll link them below. I hope I remember all this stuff. <laughs> I'll link them below. And they're in my letters kit. And just and these are the digital uh, fussy cuts that I just put in my shop. And then you could... um you know, put some fabric on them. How cute. With a little, with, with like a little staple or a little pin. How adorable. I love them. Well, thank you for joining me today. Blessings to all of you. And I will see you tomorrow for, oh my goodness, I forget. Is it going to be day 33? Blessings to all of you. The timer is going to go off. Bye for all my crafting buddies.